So now Autel have done an update for this VCI 200 to be used as a J25 device and I'm about to test it. So I did the Autel update today and um, there is the update. I did the Autel update today. So now it is version 1.38. So it is connected, the VCI 200 is connected. Well, what I'll do is uh, I'll close it now. It is a J25 device, so now let me search for J25 device, and you can see VCM two, uh, V200. So let me click on identify. So you can see I'll click on identify, it is connected, and it is able to identify the ECU for me. So that means the VCM. Um, v200 is working which is this one it is working now so let me turn on this scope okay let me turn on this scope so now let me read DTC so click on read DTC and you can see the communication going on is done successfully and very quick and it is very fast so you can use this one with the km100 uh, this one is for the km100 so you can use it with any of the auto machines and you can even do online programming with it so you can see the vcm even the current is joining is a bit low so now let me go to read and see how quickly it can read so this one is just to read the data then let me go to read you see Okay, ignition is on already. So that this one will be quite faster than the one I was using. Than, than the schematic. So this one, the only thing I have to do is change my voltage. Increase. I have to change my voltage. And also here too, I have to click on scope and change my voltage. Okay, so... All the voltage have been set correctly and you can see the vc uh, the v200 is working as a j25 device and it is reading and it is reading the data thanks to auto for doing it wow they've made they've made they've, they've made my work a bit easier because now i'll not be carrying the vci the big one along and this one also has a dope and a can fd in it so with this one alone i can do most of the programming and other things so you can see it's reading fast and you can see the communication is different than the other one that we were looking at and you can see the j25 device is reading the data Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And with this one, you can use it with any of the J25 devices. So let me try this one. Let me cancel it first. Let me go to PCM Flash and cancel it. Okay. So let me minimize the PCM Flash. Ignore and go to connect. So connect device, you select. And you can see V200, which is for the a VCI uh, which is for this VCI 200 and you can see now it is connected so the moment it connects it will show it will show here that it's connected so you can see it is connected that means I can use it with my WinTech and also when it comes to this any anything related to J25 device I can use this one with it the and also i can use it with the with this so select the interface that you want so it's detecting the interface on the system so now anytime any anytime i want i can use this vci so that will be the only vci i'll be using so change vci because now first you can't even connect it but i think the recent update auto did has allowed you to use it as a J25 device and it being very small like this and having that 
compatibility uh, having the strength to do it so now you can see i'll select it from here v200 also has v1 flash and also has added like three vci to their j2 uh, to their pass through interface so now the vci 200 can be used so i'll select it and go to select then that means uh, yes so now i can use the vc 200 if i have any vw around i can use it to do the diagnosing and you can see it is connected so now it's searching for everything and there is no vehicle so you can see the scan the scan lines are working which tells me that they are requiring for everything so it's scanning the whole uh, the whole communication protocol to see if it could find everything and there is not a vw unit so it's not something that i'll be like it will find anything it will not find anything thank you for watching subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and donate for us to build a better lab and also you can see when using it with the tech line connect uh, you can select the vcm 200 and when i select it when I select it, it will start searching for, okay, connected. So the moment I select it, it, will, it is connected now. And you can see that the VCI has turned into it. So you can use it for programming also. So it's requiring me to input the VIN because it was not able to identify the VIN. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And you can see it's selected here. Auto VCI V200.